Hello and welcome back, Lady Joy 4 here, and today I'm making an Easter card with the Easter Amy image from Sasayaki Glitter. This is actually the third card in my Easter video series, so if you haven't checked that out, be sure to take a look at it. So I'm using, as I said, the Easter Amy image, which is image number 35, and I started by printing her onto some alcohol marker friendly paper. I sized her just in a word document and printed it out and then I've die cut her with a lawn fawn stitched oval die. I chose this stitched oval because I thought it looked almost like an egg which seemed appropriate. And then I'm going to start colouring her in. I will start with skin which is what I tend to do when I'm colouring an image with a person. I tend to start with skin tones and I'm using Spectrum Noir marks here and all the lids are to the side so you can see what colours I have used if you want to recreate my colouring. This is more of my go-to skin colour. I My darkest colours I sometimes vary a little bit but for the most part I stick with this just because it's what I'm familiar with. I do want to have a play with some other skin colours at some point but for the most part this is what I do. So I'm just putting on the finishing touches with my lightest colour. Finish off the legs. And then I decided to use this eggshell as well for a couple of the eggs. Seemed appropriate given the name of the colour. I thought that some of the eggs could be not yet painted. So, so there are some that are painted and some that still need to be painted. Um, the egg on the very right hand side I glid off camera but that's the same colour as the one that I showed that's on the top of the chicks. So then I'm going to colour in her hair and I decided to make her a brunette this time. So I'm starting by laying in my darkest brown and in with some flicks. And it's actually been a little while since I last coloured hair, so I'm a little bit out of practice and some trouble with the flicks. I went in with my next darkest colour and kind of built out the um, flicks, going over the ones that were there and extending towards the light area a bit more. Then I have my third shade and again just build out the flakes moving into the light the highlight area. And then I have my lightest colour. I had originally intended just choose the three colours but I decided to bring in the lighter brown as well. So I'm just filling in all the white, making sure there's no white left in her hair. And then I felt it was getting a bit flat and losing the dimension a bit so I did go back in with my darkest colour again just to add back in some of the shadows and just deepen them up a bit and give some more contrast. And there was one place on her face that I'd got um, gone over her skin with the brown a little so I just went in with my lightest skin tone to blend that back out. Then I'm going to colour her outfit. Her dress and her bow are both going to be purple. And the round caps that you see are Yusu markers, which I'm just using um, to fill in the gaps uh, when I don't have a suitable colour in the spectrum ones. So I coloured her bow first, and then I'm going to colour her dress, and I'm putting in my shadows first in the um, folds and creases of the dress. And then also on the left hand side where the shadow would be, I tend to do my light source coming from the right hand side, so my shadow on the left. And again I'm working from dark to light and building up the, um, blending out the colours as I go across. Then I'm going to colour in the little chicks and I only show the one of them because they're all the same. So I'm using two shades of yellow and I'm putting in my shadow first and then the highlight colour and I did just colour right over the beaks because I knew I would be going in with this darker orangey colour which will cover up any of the yellow that got there and then I also used the orange for the feet as well and I'm going to colour the easter eggs I decided to go with blue stripes for the stripy easter egg and again I'm trying to pay attention to my light source and shading to get some shape to the egg and then I used another blue tone. Um, oh, first I'm adding the blue to the paint palette. I wanted to make sure the paint palette has the same colours as the eggs to just have that consistency that makes it seem like she really is painting them. 
Then I used another blue tone for the alternating stripes. Um, I only have the one of those, um, I think they're ice blues. So um, I made the shadow just by going, doing like a double layer of the ice blue that I have in the darker areas. I decided I wanted to make the egg on the top of the chips, chicks look as though it's been partly painted. So I added some pink to it on the air closest to the girl and left the rest of it the eggshell colour. And then for the dotty eggs by Amy's feet I decided to go with greens so I used a bright green for the spots and a darker green for the shell of the egg. And I'm using my blender pen um, tip to tip with the dark green to add the colour across to the highlight of the eggs because I didn't have a light enough colour to use there and using the blender helps me get the light tone that I was after. I bought in the same pinks that I had used on the partially coloured egg to colour the flowers. I used a very pale pink first and then I'm going in with a darker pink for my shadow areas for the centres of the flowers and uh, um, inner parts of dettles. Rather than bringing in too much other colour I went with kind of caramelly colour for her shoes which I also put on the little stones on the ground. I'm just blending out the shoes with the eggshell. And I decided to keep the paint palette itself white. I was going to do it brown but then I thought it might get a bit lost against her hair. I added pink to the very end of the paintbrush because she's painting with pink and then used a light yellow brown to colour in the paintbrush and then I'm using a light green to add in just the impression of grass. There's, I didn't put much green down, I just wanted to imply grass there and then I'm using my blender pen to blend it out and smooth the edges and using a slightly darker light green to put in the stems of the flowers. Then with the colouring all finished I added my sentiment which is from Simon Says Stamps Easter Greetings and next I need to make my card base so I just compared the colours I'd used to my ink swatch chart so that I could work out what colours I wanted. And then I'm using some stamps from Simon Says Stamp Crafty, uh, Crafty Friends stamp set. So I used purple for the paint palette, um, a reddish pink for the paint tube and then a blue for the paint brushes. And I'm also using a kind of tea blue colour to add hearts just to fill out the pattern. You can see the lids of the colours on screen and I will also have links to them all in the description box down below so any products that I have used here will be in the description box for you if you want to find them. Then I used foam tape on the back of my focal panel so that I could pop it up onto the card base over that stamped pattern that I created. And that completes my card. So I will have one more Easter card in this series which will be coming next week, so keep your eyes open for that. If you're not already subscribed, there's buttons on screen to subscribe to my channel and to the Sasayaki Glitter YouTube channel. Hit the like button down below if you enjoyed this video. There are some other videos here that you might enjoy and you can find a link to my blog and all the products used in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Bye.